And it would have been six innings, strong innings, beautiful innings from Jordan Montgomery, where despite throwing over 30 pitches in the first, he would have had that quality start, which he still did get a quality start, but it would have been unblemished, right? The blemish comes in the seventh inning with the error made by Tommy Edmond on a play that I would reckon Tommy Edmond makes that play. I... 999 times out of a thousand like that was the most routine of routine ground balls and i didn't disagree with ollie marble's decision to leave jordan montgomery in like that's exactly what you want there you get to face the lefty and then you know for the right-handed batter uh drew verhagen's going to come into the game perfect setup it should have been one out in the inning he got the easy ground ball and tommy edmund boots it just inexplicably so we could talk about the decision to have him at second base tonight with paul de young at shortstop that's maybe one that uh, you could question a little bit because it seemed like in spring training, the way the Cardinals were billing this Paul DeYoung rebound season was that he was going to be the utility guy, right? He was going to be the guy that they were going to move him around when he did get in the lineup because you don't want to disturb the rhythm and the timing of the everyday players at their normal position. And Tommy Edmond has been the Cardinals everyday shortstop. There has been no doubt about this. I know there are some folks on Twitter who would say, well, I don't think his arm is suitable to shortstop he doesn't have enough of an arm to play there I really haven't seen it that way I think he's a fine shortstop uh, one of the better shortstops in the game if maybe his arm is not his strong suit at short I think his range is tremendous his instincts are really strong I like Tommy Edmond as a shortstop defensively I also think Paul Young is a good shortstop but that's not really the point is it the point had been yeah before the injury and he was dealing with the back stuff the Cardinals had sort of billed him as like the Taylor Motter role. What did we see Motter do for the Cardinals? But play a few different spots and fill in as needed. But in the second game of his presence with the Cardinals this season, what did the Cardinals do? They put Paul Young at shortstop, uh, which was fine on Sunday because Tommy Edmond got a day off. He didn't play. So naturally, Paul Young would be the shortstop fill-in. However, another day goes by. I totally agree with keeping Young in the lineup. I said last night on B-Shafe Daily, that he would probably be back in there today after the three for four with a home run on Sunday. However, it's interesting, isn't it, that they keep him at shortstop and they move Tommy Edmond to second base. Here's my theory on this, and let me know what you think. And like the stream if you haven't done so. It's great. I'm surprised we have so many people in here tonight, to be honest with you, because it's 11 o'clock, and it was an absolutely rotten game for the Cardinals. But you guys want to get your thoughts in, and so that's freaking awesome. Like the stream, uh, the stream and subscribe if you'd be so kind. It helps me out a lot if you do so. All right. Here's my theory on the Cardinals playing Tommy Eben at second base tonight. I think it's a case of DeYoung looked good at the plate yesterday. They know that sometimes it's a momentum thing with him, and it's it's trying to catch lightning in a bottle and keep it there. And to do that, maybe you just try to make Paul DeYoung as absolutely comfortable as possible. You leave him at shortstop, and they probably have a higher opinion of the mental fortitude and the adaptability and the, the ability to adjust for Tommy Edmond compared to Paul DeYoung. So they say, eh, it's probably not going to be a problem at all. Let's go ahead and put Tommy back at second base where he's a former gold glover. That's the way to do this so that we can keep the young comfortable. Maybe I'm thinking too hard about it. Maybe I'm reading too much into the decision. At the end of the day, you're a manager of the Cardinals of, or of any team, and you've got to put the guys in certain positions, and, and this is just the way they chose it. Maybe it wasn't that deep. But when a little error like that happens, we're going to look into it a little further and go, well, that's interesting, isn't it? Um, Again, Tommy Edmond is a gold glove second baseman, but he's been mostly playing shortstop so far this year. And so you wonder if that's just a situation where he just hasn't seen as many ground balls at that spot, or is it truly just a one in a thousand type of fluke and we shouldn't talk about it that much. Uh, but it sure hurt the Cardinals in that spot, and it definitely hurt Jordan Montgomery. I cannot believe that Jordan Montgomery is charged with a loss in this game. It is absolutely insane. He gives up one unearned run. He's not on the mound when it scores. And he ends up getting charged with the loss. That is a, maybe that's just the baseball rule. I don't know. But if the official scorer has any soul and has the ability to change it, which I don't think they do because that was his run technically given up by Verhagen, but it was, it was Monty's run unearned as it may have been. But if you had any ability to kind of fudge the numbers there, that's a loss that Drew Verhagen should take. Uh, or Tommy Edmond, if you can charge a position player with a loss. 